Chart Foodies. Luna de Plata here with another video for my intuitive reading original series with Food Fortunes and the Rider White uh, Tarot deck. For those uh, who are unfamiliar with Food and Fortunes deck, this deck by Josh Lafayette. Uh, it's intended to help you decide your next meal. If you are feeling uh, undecisive of what to eat, right here it says, can't decide what to eat, let the universe decide. For you, that's the um, great suggestion right there in the little guidebook we have. Um, today's reading will be... Uh, going with the triple decker that is in this little guidebook and an extra card from the right away tarot uh, if you're new to my channel and like my content press the like button and don't forget to subscribe hit that notification button and yeah so you can see more of the videos that i'll be making for this series um, back to the spread uh, you can find here in the guidebook it says let's see an example let's go right here i'm sorry uh the triple decker okay so you notice that big x right there that first card is negative so it's something that we should not eat when it comes out in the spread something that pay attention to it something we need to avoid maybe uh, the second card and the third card are the cards that um, we need to combine them together to create a meal or just you know to so build a meal out of it and see um, what we come up with uh, either you prepare it at home, go out through the drive through take out, dine out, or, you know, have it delivery, or fancy you book up a reservation in a nice restaurant. Either way, doesn't matter how you do it. However, you know, go for it, you know. So let's see what the cards suggest in this um, intuitive reading for today.
time to interpret the cards. First, we got the Eight of Cups from the Right Away. And this card represents uh, boundaries and moving on. But I will talk about it in a little bit and link them with the, the rest of the cards and see um, on symbolism and meaning um, when you link the cards. Um, first, on the triple decker thread uh, we got the first card is the trio the BLT sandwich so spot on because that was the same card from my last intuitive reading that I made a video I will leave the link below so you can watch this reading it came up with the ace of pentacles also I made the simple BLT and a variation of it so you can enjoy it um, after you watch this video the second card is the burro uh, burrito means little donkey and <laughs> This is a Mexican dish. Everybody um, knows that. Who doesn't? Well, I'll explain that it consists a Mexican Mexican dish that consists of a tortilla rolled around a filling, typically of meat, meat as ground beef, fajita steak or chicken fajita, pretty much. Uh, those are the types of meat uh, usually used in the burrito. Um, they add beans and cheese. Burrito day is this, uh, a day after April's full. So for you, easy to remember if you want to celebrate burrito day. Uh, the third card is the steep one. It's card number three from the suits of, suits of drinks from the Food Fortunes deck. This card suggests you to drink tea, either hot or cool cold brew. You see the small teacup with a iced tea bag coming out inside, and in the bag a cold brew is in a pitcher. So um, something that I want to uh, point out from this card that I noticed that the artist included the alchemical elements symbols in here it got the element fire element of air element of water element of earth so we need fire to boil that water right we need air is let's say the steam coming out of that hot tea and the aroma is considered uh, air um, the element water with the major uh, the bigger one the bigger symbol there is the bigger triangle downwards um, we use mostly water and add milk and you know liquid that's the water element right there and element earth is the earth spices and fruits that we steep um, the tea you know steep it in water the hot water and make this very delicious beverage also, we can add the sweeteners, so cane sugar, agave syrup, honey, that comes, you know, from earth. All this, the earth produces. So very interesting, um, that detail right there. Link 
the burrow and the eight of cups let's see what we can see and have intuitive um, sense here in the cards um, together uh, the first thing that I notice is the clock it points out past 11 right um, I assume perfect for lunch but also the arrows around the clock may suggest you can have it any time of the day or the night as you please um, in the, in numerology uh, if we take 11 and minus 3 that's the number of the card because it's trump number 3 in the foot fortune stack uh, we end up with 8 and 8 is the same number as the suits of um, 8 of cups right 8 of cups it's, we got 2 8's right there so that number is calling for interpretation in this number in tarot reading um, is means boundaries it means strength it's a number of power of courage um, movement and also transition so the eight of cups means um, walking away uh, moving from uh, one situ situation to another right so when others try to hold you back in a relationship that no longer serves you either intimate or work related or even family members um, tend to hold you back um, you know preventing you to do things or restraining things from you it doesn't matter you must find strength in that you must find strength in yourself and courage to enforce your boundaries you say hey you know enough is enough or I need to make this move to better myself I need to get out of this situation is this is not working for me um, and leave you know if it costs you stress if it's causing you sadness you need to put that aside and start cultivating a uh, detachment from uh, people detachment from things that are you know unhealthy healthy to you healthy in your life and the people that are around you you know the things that you do so you need to um, detach and move on you know so you can start uh, in that transition of life in that uh, transformation and find what's best for you because it is time to move on that's a message that I see um, is transmitting here with the eight of cups that we notice um, also the number eight okay how about linking the eight of cups with the steep one hmm. what we can find here let me see um, notice the rivers and the mountains on both of them the man in the eight of cups holds a staff and that symbol of power remember I said that number eight is um, signifies power um, he holds on to that staff and he's leaning on its support so he's you know that's what he does but he's just walking away and he's following a path um, of this flowing rivers flowing he's following that right 
uh, notice some the same flow uh, in the steep card it has a river also and it looks like it's, it's flowing is flowing also notice the Sun in both cards this is the watchful Sun let's say representing um, it represents our uh, conscious conscious self while the river and the moon because it really has it had the Sun and the moon the eight of cups but the moon right there links with the water links with intuition and the river itself so it's just represents our intuitive self so the moon illuminating the path illuminating illuminating the challenge that challenge we must face through our darkest hours in life some you know situations we go through we need that light so we can see what's hidden there what's lurking what is you know it needs to come to light in is in is that sun in is that moon at night day and night we need that so yeah um i see that relationship there from the moon the sun and the river in both in both cards pretty much so now we have um the burro and the stick one let's see both cards are number three so two threes in the tarot readings means to seek support, seek support from a group, seek out for those friends, uh, good colleagues, good co-workers, that family member or family members that you rely on for support, counselor, uh, some a spiritual teacher of your preference, if you cannot reach out for no one there's always other possibilities right we can seek out for books videos audio material endless possibilities out there but seek out reach out you know sometimes we need to talk about what's going on in our lives sometimes we need that person that listens to us or a group of people that listens to us and support us in everything that we do so go out in a group for lunch i will link in here the tarot meaning of the cars with the food that's the main purpose of these videos so the suggestion that i see intuitively is get out in group for lunch have this nice Mexican meal or anything of you know related to of your choice that will be fantastic if you get that burrito with your friends and you know share a meal with them and also have a long talk over a cup of tea that's that's an usual saying <laughs> so seek out reach out let it out and enjoy your meal enjoy life <laughs>